don't forget to subscribe and press the notification icon. Hello guys, this is Sekha Genwin. Today I'm going to show you how to bypass or remove Google account FRP on any Samsung device using your Mac. So first off, what you need to have is a Windows ISO. So either you need to have a disk Windows installation disk or you can download it on the description below. This is a genuine copy of Windows 7 64 bit so you can enjoy using it with full activation. So first off what you have to do is once you have downloaded your ISO what you have to do is to go in the description and download desktop parallels and then you're gonna follow the video which is gonna come out now. So first off you have to download this file. The link is gonna be in the description below. Once you have downloaded the file, what you gotta do is, is to double click the downloaded file. And then what you gotta do is, is to double click install. And now what you have to do is, is to input your password. And wait for a couple seconds. program press no once you open desktop parallel you should see this wizard so now what you have to do is, is to press on install windows or other OSS OS from a DVD or image file so if you're using DVD then press this if you're using image file ISO or USB then press the one that you're using so I'm using ISO so if you're using ISO then simply drag Windows over here. Now wait for a couple of seconds. Then press continue. Now what you have to do is, is to simply uncheck this box, then press continue. Then here what you have to do is if you are using this for gaming or for software or such, then choose this. So I'm just gonna use it for software purpose. So once that is done press next and do whatever you want then press next again and wait for a couple of seconds now what you have to do is once you reach this window you have to pick Windows 7 ultimate press next and wait for a couple of seconds depending on your max hard drive. Now click to continue. <clears throat> then right click, go to screen resolution, then change your resolution that corresponds to your max display. Now you have successfully installed that's our parallels Windows 7 on your MacBook. So now you can watch any videos that says that you need a Windows to bypass or remove Google accounts on. Hello guys, this is Ekna Genwin and today I'm going to show you how to fix this error which is which says an error has secured while updating the device software. Use the emergency recovery function in the smart switch PC software. It can also be fix using a Mac. So first what you need to have is a computer. And then what you have to do is, is to download this file which is going to be on the description. Once you have downloaded the file, make sure to double click on it, then press on more, then press reinstall device driver, press confirm, press yes. And make sure that all of the ports on your computer are disconnected. Once that is done, close the window and restart the computer. Once you have restored your computer, now double click on Smart Switch. If in case you got an update, then update it.
once the update is finished <coughs> relaunch the smart switch then on your device connect the USB cable to your computer now on your computer what you have to do is, is to click more then press on emergency software recovery and initialization then press on device initialization then input your phone's model number mine is s6 edge so it is smg 925f then press search once you have inputted your model number and then here you have to input your serial, serial number serial number can be found on back of your device if your phone is removable battery then you can remove the battery and you will find the sticker if you can't find your serial number then you can check on the box of your device Once you see this screen, know that all of your data will be deleted, but your phone will be revived again. Press OK. And then wait for a couple of seconds, depending on your internet speed. On your computer, press OK and disconnect the cable. And here we go guys, the S6 Edge is finally recovered and now I'm just gonna quickly configure my phone. Give me a moment here. Yeah.